Wrong button. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Lost Isles. I'm Flinger Fu, and today, well, I'm actually kind of just been out here for a little bit, uh, setting down some foundations just right here along the edge. I brought out, um, I put a, a, a pillar right here, and then I uh, snapped the foundation to it, and then I sunk the foundation deep down inside so where uh, I could actually go like this, and I could bring it out. I need another foundation for this. But yeah, um, I was about to set up the uh, air conditioners. Now, um, I realized that uh, the incubator is so much far more superior than the uh, than air conditioners. But incubator also requires level 89. I am not level 89, so I'm going with air conditioners until we can get an incubator. All right, so now that that's settled, all right, uh, let's see, but yeah, I had to bring out the foundation support right there, so where we can actually build a thing up here, but also I want to put, uh, some... That there, that there. No, actually, we'll go like that. All right. All right, but yeah, I wanted the, uh, foundations right like this, so where I can go like this. Oh, did I sink him down too far? <laughs> oh my god, if I sunk him down too far, I'm gonna be a... Ugh. I think I might have. I think I might... Oh, man, I sunk my... It's too far. Hmm. Let me see. Um. I totally forgot about you guys. Really? 120 wood for a bench when it takes 80 wood for a foundation? Are you for real? Alright, fine. We're not going to be able to get it snap on top of there. Oh man, okay. That's unfortunate. Alright, well in the wall it is. Bring it out. Let's just go like this. All right, there we go. Now we've got a row of, found, of uh, air conditioners out here, so where we can just plop down eggs right here. We can hatch them. I can put down some railings right there. Everything will look great. It's gonna look amazing. I swear. Actually, uh, is that combat music? Seriously? I need the correct arrows for your butt. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Later, dude. Don't come pick and I'll fight with my Quetzal. All right. So, uh, yeah, but what I wanted to do after this... Uh, let me see. Uh, do we have enough wood? Actually, let me take some wood from this. I'm just burning off uh, some metal. I, have, I was going to go on a metal run here pretty soon, but... I haven't been able to go do that yet. I will do that here shortly. But, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of metal that's respawned up inside there. But today, I think what I want to do, I want to set my sights on that Giga. Um, at least set my sights on the Giga. I'm not sure if it's going to be, uh, um, if it's going to work out for me because I do need a lot more, um, Uh, narcotics and stuff. Actually, I think I don't want railings right there. Yeah, let's just put some right here. And then right here is where I've, I, when I'm hatching eggs, I can just like whistle them off and they'll just follow me. All right, so that'll work. Okay, so I'm going to go get uh, Metal Run done and then probably a whole, whole bunch more narcotics made up. I'm gonna go get a drink of water because apparently that's something I need. And then we're gonna get started on doing this. Uh, we need to learn, what is it? Uh, dino. 
There we go. Metal Dino Gate. And also we need to learn... Oh, there goes a bunch of my hand grown points. Uh, bear traps. We need large bear traps. There we go. That takes... Fiber hide. That one's super simple to me. All right. So, uh, yeah. Really, what the only thing we're missing right now is narcotics. Really, that's it. All right. All right. So, uh, in order to get some spoiled meat, you know, I'm going to need you... Because we are seriously lacking on spoiled meat. Right now, I went around and I've cleared out all of my spoiled meat in the immediate vicinity inside the base. I've got 83. That's it. All right, so I need to make sure I get these things uh, made up as narcotics. And then we're going to head over to this. We're going to go get ourselves a vulture. Vultures are really easy at getting spoiled meat. Uh, you can go uh, get a bunch of fish meat, throw it in the inventory of the uh, vulture, and it'll become... Uh, It'll become spoiled meat wicked fast. Or you can just take the uh, the vulture and have it harvest things and it immediately become spoiled meat, which is really good. All right, so yeah, I think we're going to go uh, look for that and then we're going to go get all the rest of the stuff crafted. Oh, that's a nice looking rock. I'm just saying. I mean, if there's a nice looking rock, that was a nice looking rock. And all those times where I'm saying, hey, if you want to be a rock, be a rock, that dude is doing it. That guy's going extra credit. The same. All right, since I'm going over the desert, I mean, I've got the mutton. I'm going to take mutton with me. I'm just saying. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> if we're going to the desert, we may end up running into something. So, there we go. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we've got Taming Buddy with us. We've got Food Pithecus. We've got Avocado. Uh, we've got... Should be plenty of narcotics. Uh, even though I'm I'm trying to uh, build up a bigger stash pile of narcotics using a bunch of my narcotics, well, sometimes you have to, you know, I mean, you can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, right? I mean, that's how that saying goes, right? You can't came, uh, you can't get spoiled meat if you don't use all your narcotics. Even though that really doesn't make sense because I'm not using the narcotics to get the spoiled meat. Alright, so hey, you know, however it is, we're gonna go over here and we're probably gonna use a lot of narcotics. I'm just saying. Oh, wow, I did not realize there was so much metal right here. And that's just right across from my island, just right here on this little bit of uh, the mountain right here. That's kind of cool. Wow, I've got an... Oh, there's even more there. Oh, mean. I knew there was a bunch of metal. I've been going all the way across the other side. I mean, it's about... This... Actually, it looks like it's a little bit shorter of a distance. I've been going... I mean, there is some metal over there, but it's not a lot. So I've been going mostly over here... And this actually seems like it's closer. That's kind of cool. Right, and then also we've got up here. And up here I know there's a bunch of... Well, it's over! Right, uh, wrong button. Um, sorry as I uh, go screaming like a little girl. But yeah, I, apparently I was uh, falling to my death. Because I pressed the wrong button. Which would have not been the right thing to do. I think. Don't know. But I'm going with it because I don't want to be meat waffles on the ground. All right. So, uh, yeah, um, I think. All right. So the goal is we have to find a vulture. Secondary goal is I know there's a thylacolio triangle over here. I just need to zero in on it because I've been over here taming thylas before. And they respawn really fast. And there's some very dedicated spawn spots to them. Now, I know that... Uh, the spawn map for areas, thylacolios are their own independent spawn, which means that thylacolio triangles are very possible. They're like rexes. If something is to spawn in their place, it is always 100% a thylacolio. So, at least most of the time. Not all the time. On Ragnarok, there are several spots where thylacolio are slated to spawn, but you have to clear out the spots to get the thylacolio to spawn. On the island, they're always dedicated. Same thing on Crystal Isles, as far as my experience has been. So I need to figure out where exactly the Thylacolio spawns are, narrow in on them, and then uh, figure out what is a good triangle, because I know there's a lot of Thyla spawns over there. All right, and of course, there's a Marga Sources down here, and these guys just have bad attitudes. I'm not sure if they're aware of that. That's a level 100, dude. I mean, they really do just have really bad attitudes. 
They'll come at you from all across the map. Do all sorts of weird stuff to you. I need a tamey one. <laughs> or two. All right, but yeah, uh, so I'm uh, narrowing in on the Thylacolios. I know a bunch of them spawn right along the edge of the high desert, and I'm thinking that running along the high desert, coming up through here, because I know there's th there's a Thylacol spawn right here. 85. All right. I know there's a Thyla spawn right over here, and I'm thinking just running all the way around this big mountain right here would probably net you a really good sample size of Thylas. I mean, for the most part, I mean, I'm kind of overwhelmed when it comes to uh, narrowing down all the Thyla spawns because there are so many of them here. I mean, just so many of them. Honestly, at this point, I think it's just the entire desert area over here is one big, massive uh, Thylacolio triangle, and you can just pick like three or four spots, run around them, and just basically pick and choose a thylacolio. But then again, most everybody on this map, they're not super interested in thylacolios because Dinopithecus is the new hotness. You I mean, tell me I'm wrong. No, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, everybody's like, yeah, let's grab a Dinopithecus. Let's grab a bunch of them. Let's breed them. I like thylas. I, I, I like the Dinopithecus as well. But I also don't want to... Oh, I'm also supposed to be taking a look at Vulture. Oh, that's a 140, right? Hey, I found a Vulture! Alright, now we just gotta get some spoiled meat. Alright, so... The... No, I'm talking about Thylos, and here I am throwing out a Dinopithecus. They're really good. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I like Dinopithecuses. I like Thylas. The best part about Dinopithecus... Don't you spit on me. Best part about Dinopithecus is that they have the uh, um, the weight of a Rex, so things just don't naturally spawn on them. All right, so we've got one. Uh, let's get some more spoiled meat. We're going to have to... I'm going to have to wait here a little bit while I get some more spoiled meat. But yeah, there was a 140 Vulture right over here. On, let me get that and just get that spread out just now. All right, that'll be a while. You it? No, you're 50. You're 20. You're 20. You're the 140. Yay! Yay for 140! All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm just waiting on my meat to spoil out. That sounds so weird, doesn't it? Excuse me, I'm just waiting for my meat to spoil out. I'll see you guys in just a bit. That's <laughs> so creepy. Right, I think this is the right one. It's really hard to see on the back. This. Are you 140? Right. I don't think so, dude. He was coming right for my dude. I don't think so, man. All right, there we go. Waiting on this guy's feed. All right, now it's going much quicker. I've already given two really quick. All right, come on, bud. Oh, you're a male vulture too. All right. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on, dude. Why you got to make this difficult? Really? Get your butt down here. Come on.
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the Noma crops to the rescue again. All right, so we'll just put him in our pocket for now. But when we get home, we'll just load up a whole bunch of meat on him. And then he'll just naturally spoil it. And then we can take him out and go harvest a bunch of stuff. And he'll just harvest up spoiled meat. It's really cool um, how they do it. All right, now there's this one spot I've been kind of zeroing in on on my playtime. And it's right along this back wall or kind of a little bit off it. But as you're cruising up this way from the high desert, right there's the rocky bit. And as soon as you get into the mesa, I'm thinking this might be, well, there's a UD. Hi, Mr. UD. No, 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 no. Right, and then you come up around over here. There's Margosaurus's. Well, there's Thyla right there. Which is a... Really? Still coming, eh? Right, so these are Margosaurus's. They're going to have to go. There's Vulture... Margosaurus, but I'm thinking this little bit right around here. I know there's a couple spots in there. I just need to zero in on them where there's a really good concentration of like five or six thylacoleo spawns. I... Oh, that thyla one. Whoa. Wait, the thyla one or the dire wolf came in at the last minute and one? Uh, whoa. Oh, no, not spoiled me. Oh, man. All right, what level are you? You're 130, female! Hey! Dang, that's a good Thyla. And it's kicking the crap out of that dude. All right, so uh, let's start here. See what else we can see, because I know there's another spot right over here where more Thyla spawn. Let me see if I can zero in on it, really. These dudes are always such a pain to kill. No, I don't want your flaming little shards, dude. Actually, I kind of do, but not right now. You high level. All right, you're switching. No, no, I don't want armor piercing. Thank you. All right, fine, I will take the armor piercing. It's fine. Get him, Direwolf! You're not mine, but go ahead, get him! Oh, that was a 135. Oh, real- Dude, I was on your side, man! Alright, that is wicked- Getting- That's getting wicked old right there. The fact that when you try to jump, so you can do the ground pound, but you just keep getting knocked out of the animation. They just need to make it so when you press left click, you actually attack instead of getting knocked out of your animation because a lot of things are uh, faster than these guys. All right. Matter of fact, I'd have to say that's probably my biggest uh, complaint about these. Is just when you start getting smacked, it's hard to stop, um, to stop getting smacked. Just knock things out of their funk. All right, let's get over here. All right, so here, let me show you. I think I've kind of narrowed down a little bit. All right, so starting right here on the map, right here, hold on, let me take off my gauntlets. Um, take off my gloves. All right. Right here on the map, there's this stylus spawn right here. All right, and this one right here, this is a 130 female right there. Okay, so you go from here, and then you come right up along this. If you're on a monkey, you can go up this way, or you can uh, kind of go around the side. But either way, I think I'll have better luck if you go up the wall. Uh, you can do this on a um, Argent, uh, Sonoma crops, anything of the sort. Hold on. As I am having problems with climbing here all of a sudden. All right, and then you come up this way. And then right through here 
is another thylus bun right here. All right, so this one right here. And from there, you just keep going right through here. And then right over here, up here on the right, there should be another thylus spawn. And then right down there on the left should be another thylus spawn. I see pig. I just saw one there just a second ago. Where were you? Or was it the next one? Hello. Yeah, I think it was the next one. Yeah, right here. Okay. This ramp right here, there's a thylus spawn right here. This is a 45. And there's another thylus spawn right up here. And let me show you where this is on the map. Right here. So in this small little area, stop pooping. All right, in this small little area, there is easily five, six thylus spawns. There should be another one right up here. I just saw it. It was a little white dude. Where were you? Probably hiding. Oh, hey, more sulfur. Ooh, piece of candy. And where'd you go? We're just here, man. Oh, there you are. There you are! And you're 145 male. <laughs> okay. All right. And then from there, you clear out those. If you don't get the high level one that you want, you come down. And then there's that one down there. And then there's another one right over here on the edge of the high desert. Right there. So in that short of time, there's what, six thylus spawns? You can easily, easily cycle these guys and just get what high level one you want. Now, I'm going to also test these guys. What level are you? Yeah, I, I appreciate the buddy um, thing. All right, so I'm going to kill this one. I'm going to go back to the beginning, which is just right along this way. And I'm going to see how long it takes this guy to respawn. Because for a thylacolio triangle to work, respawn time is kind of important. Well, those vultures just kicked the crap out of that carno. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. See, I started off for um, do it one to do a uh, giga stuff, which I did. I got the spoil. I got the vulture. So now I'm just for sciencing a bunch of stuff, and this is the kind of stuff I really enjoy doing. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not gonna apologize for that. I'm not sorry. I'm figuring this stuff out. Right? I'm just doing it on camera. Uh, let's see. Okay, so if we come over this way, we should be able to see the original Thyla spawn was right on the opposite side of this. Should be right around this corner to the left. Let's see. Let's make sure... Yep, nailed it right there. Okay, and this is the 130 female, right? And we're pooping again. That 130 female, right? And the reason why I'm going up and I'm taking a look at them like this is because I hate using that on the back. All right, so this is 130 female. All right, so let's go see if uh, when we get back over there, if that other one is respawned. Because if it has respawned in that short of time, th that would be even better than I had originally hoped. It means you won't have to wait at all. To get them to respawn, which could be wicked cool. All right, so as I'm checking this thing, I'm actually running it the exact way I just showed you. So where it uh, takes the exact same amount of time to get back over here. Now, if we can find another Thyla over here, that would kind of be amazing. It's not in these big rocks, is it? Oh, further down. Be right down here. Now I know that the thyla spawns right in this area. It was past the pigs, right? Ah, uh, there's the bag from the thyla. Or I think it is. 
Alright, so the Thyla takes a little while to spawn, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'll, I'm going to see just how long it takes. I'm going to run back in and out. I'm going to go get this purple drop and then come back and see just how long it takes for it to go. Now, um, I actually tamed my Thyla right down here. And I think it was that spawn spot. It had just wandered down this way. Because it was somewhere around this little bit. And then, there, yeah, there's my trap. And I was able to drag it to the trap. Yeah, because there's all the true... Uh, wait, no, hold on. I think I've done a dino wipe since. But yeah, there... Oh, hey, there's another Thyla. Hey! There's another Thyla. And that's a 145 male. You know what? I've got a trap here. Come here. Come on. And just like that... We've got Thyla in a trap. Uh, I had a Thyla in a trap. What happened to you? Oh, the doors. Come on. Can I move? Thank you. Can I move? Okay, so that happened. Seriously? on so bad. All right, where did that Thyla go? Did it die? Oh, no, it's over here. Okay, come here. All right, dude, the Trudon Menace is gone. Come here. Come on. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. I need to get rid of those doors. I don't know why I put the door. Oh, I put the doors on there somewhere. It wouldn't. Really? Gonna lose aggro, huh? I put the doors on there so something so things wouldn't come up and smack it. And now it just goes right up. Okay. Alright, well we'll wait for it to lose aggro. And you know, I'll drag it away and I'm gonna get rid of these doors. All right, now the trap's working. All right, I'm going to get this guy knocked out, and then I'm going to go take a look at the other one. Because it should be good. Um, I think I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to get a lot of Torpor going with this. Get you running. And then I'm going to use the rest of the uh, long neck to knock you out. Bloody already. Let's let that torpor sink in. Oh, never mind. Apparently that was enough to knock it out. Okay, so all right, that happened. Goes back. Thank you. Right, I'm just gonna let you uh, starve out a bit while I go check on this other one just north of you. Chill out, buddy. All right, so it still hasn't respawned when I was down there. The whole time I was down there knocking out that thyla, it didn't respawn. So. Which tells me that... Oh, no, no, it did, it did! Oh, it's up here, it just... It, it spawns over a, over a larger area. Okay, that's cool. And you are 45? That might have been one I already, already saw. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you. And I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go down to my Thyla, I'm gonna come back. And I'm gonna see if I've got a new one here. All right, because I'm pretty sure I've got this area locked down. Uh, I'm really, I'm just trying to figure out how long the respawn time is. That's really it. Um, because it really, it just depends on how often you can do this. If you can just constantly run it, or if you can come over, clear everything, leave for about 10 minutes, and then come back and then do it again. That's really the only thing. Okay. So that one did respawn, but it respawned up here. 20. Okay. That throws my findings off. All right, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out the amount of distance that needs to be traveled in order to reset the area because usually that is a factor. So if you uh, leave the area, get it to unrender, and then basically pop into stasis, 
uh, it should happen, which even if you do have prevent hibernation on, it will still go into a limited form of stasis. Not really a full-fledged one, but a limited one. Uh, so let's see. Let's get up here. At least that's been my findings. Let's see if this thing's respawned. I see more pigs. Yep, there it is. All right. So, yeah, it uh, takes probably about five minutes for this thing to respawn. What level are you? Please be female. Yeah, female 135. That's what I'm looking for. Come on. I I've got a nice, lovely trap down here. Come on. Nice, lovely trap. Don't worry about me smacking you. I will feed you along the way. It's okay. Come on. And it's going to lose aggro on me a few times. Come on. Ah. Ouch. See, there it goes. Actually, let's just use these. Come on. There you go. Ouch. Come on. Lure you all the way down here. But yeah, this spot right here is just a gold mine for Thylas. Absolutely. I, I've never seen one this... This good. And you know, I've seen a lot of good Thylacolio triangles. Oh, well, go ahead. Eat that dude, because I damaged you. So, yeah. There you go. Eat your little vulture. And his buddy. Right, come on. All right, let's back you up over this way. But yeah, these guys, they will not hold aggro on a Dinopithecus. Just because. Wow, okay. Really? Wanna play hardball? Let's play hardball. There you go. And that's how you play hardball. You don't want to get in my trap? That's fine. I am fine with this. I can accept that. Right, how are you doing on poor poor? There you go. Gave you one too many. But yeah, so the loot here is actually pretty good. This is a really good spot for loot. All right. <laughs> So yeah, I love figuring this stuff out. This stuff is great. All right. All right, doing stuff like this really makes me uh, think I need to uh, start concentrating on uh, kibble farms a little bit harder because, oh man, I'm just watching their, uh, their taming effectiveness tank just because I'm not using kibble is, it, it, it is heartbreaking. I mean, it really is. Look at this. Um, this right here is not so great. Uh, it's stats... They're kind of all over the place. But then again, it is 145. All right. Uh, it's got really high stamina, really decent uh, health, really low melee damage. All right. And, of course, true to form, the 135 is specializing. It's got 205. Free tame uh, melee damage. That's actually pretty good. Um, this one right here could really be a high melee damage styla, but I'm taming it with uh, mutton, so it's, uh, yeah. Not going to be as good as it could be, which is unfortunate. But, yeah, this right here is just writing out its uh, torpor. I may give it another uh, narcotic, but I'm still kind of undecided on that. All right, so the first one's up. Uh, we'll take a look at that one here in a sec. I'm just going to leave it up like that for now. I'm not even going to name it for now. I just want to see 
But it's like, uh, these ones, they're pretty much, they're gonna be my breeders. So, yeah. Let's see, uh, what are your stats? 256. Yeah, I knew it was gonna be garbage. 4200, not the best health, but decent. 2200 stamina is really good, though. So, actually, you know, I'm just gonna, let me put you where I don't have to worry about you. And apparently, I didn't bring any... I didn't bring enough uh, on cryopods, so it looks like we're walking home. Right, Poop Ithacus? Yeah, dude. I know you love swimming, huh? He hates it. Absolutely hates it. All right, so monkeys swim wicked slow, but thankfully you're able to actually jump out of the water. All right, and that actually speeds it up just a little bit. Oh, and of course, I get stuck between rocks. Okay, so let's hop over here. Up down here. So I think I've found at least my favorite spot for hunting thylas. I don't think it is the favorite because or the best. Um, it could be one of the best or one of the better. But there's so many different spots to choose from on this map, which makes it oh avocado, you look so good. Alright, let's see. Now we've got three of these guys. Um avocado. Ah, oh, you're amazing. <laughs> you look so good. Um, I didn't name these other two. This one right here, its stats turned out okay. Um, its melee damage is horrendous. And I remember Avocado's stats melee damage was horrendous as well. All right, but you, you actually got 315, which is not, not bad. Um, you got 4340. Your stamina kind of blows, but then again, if we breed you with uh, one of the males... Oh, uh, what's your stamina? 1312, 20. Your stamina is just off the charts. 2200. That is amazing. All right. So, yeah, I think we've got some really, really good breeders here. But, yeah. Uh, so, uh, the new and improved Thylacolio Triangle. It works. It works well. Is it the best one? I don't know. But I'm willing to say it's one of the better ones. So, hey, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you click that like button. I really appreciate it. If you're new around here, subscribe. And until next time, this is Flicker Foo, And take it easy, everybody. All right. So I wonder what kind of colors we can get from you guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, just just wait. Yeah, you guys are going to be happy. Uh, we got to get your stamina. But I think after that, that's about all we need. Sorry, dude. All right. So, hey, take it easy, everybody.